You know, it's like I always hesitate to film because I am like, shouldn't I show something that it, people are interested in seeing? Don't you love how I say that every single video? But I am moving and I have decided that I'm going to film some of that. Originally I was like, okay, it's either all or nothing. It's like I'm going to film the whole thing and make it a whole shebang. You know, or I'm going to film none of it and I'm just going to move silently and suddenly I'm going to be in a different state. And then I'll start filming YouTube videos again. Uh, for some reason I decided that right now was the time, now that I am about to record a podcast for Patreon and I'm still in my pajamas and I'm kind of stinky. And I'm not really doing anything that's like all that crazy today. Uh, in fact, this video probably won't just be today. This is a really weird composition, how I'm like off to the side and you're looking at the back of these post-it notes. Anyways. What if I just sat in this chair? So like I was saying, I'm moving and I'm not, I don't think this is going to be like a day in my life video because quite frankly, I am going to be going places where I don't want to film. In fact, it would mortify me. I think we're just going to film like a few days. Maybe I'll just document like pieces of a week since all I'm really going to be doing is packing and working. I work a lot now. I work a lot. I've always worked a lot, but I am in the thick of it with my work. So showing it is not super exciting. It's me just kind of sitting on an iPad doing the same thing for hours a day. And there's like so many things that I feel like I have not talked about on here yet, like the whole, hey, I'm tattooing now. And yeah, I'm moving to Illinois. But basically I got a lot going on here that's not super interesting to watch, but I've been watching so many vlogs lately where the people are just like doing basically nothing. They're like packing boxes and I'm like, wow, I love watching this. Even though I probably don't have time to edit videos and I probably don't have time to like stop and, and film, but I'm just going to try to do my best. And so that's where we're at. Look at the back of my shirt. Can you see? So anyways, maybe you'll catch me again at a time where I don't look like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna record my podcast now. And do you like it when I look directly at you like this? And then we're going to, we, not us. I'm going to uh, go to the gym. Wouldn't it be crazy if I filmed in there? Wouldn't it be? I'm not gonna do that. Well, I might, if it's empty. No, I'm probably not going to. Anyway, so that's that's this morning. I have no idea what this video is going to be like, but I just thought, hey, let's say, let's say hi to the friends on YouTube, and d document the moving. Anyways, you get it. You get what this video is kind of, I guess, the and get something out of. So that's where we're heading with this podcast. And of course, I'll still have some episodes that are deeply personal. Oh, also, my desk is in the living room now. Temporarily. It used to be that big table. Do you remember that? The big the big wooden table? That's gone. I sold it to a rich woman and now I this is where my desk is. Cause I figured why why wait to move it from my room out here and then out. I have a whole month before I move, by the way. 
I'm worried I'm gonna get behind because of work, so I've just begun the moving process like way too early. I put my like shampoo in a container the other day, like in a box, in a plastic box, and I was like, what am I doing? I don't move for another month, what am I doing? I need that, I need that for like 30 more days. Okay, I'm going to the gym now. You know, just recently I caught a glimpse of myself from behind and then I said, nobody is allowed to look at the back of me and I stand by that, so don't look at, don't ever look at the back of my head, okay? All right, are you ready for an extreme vibe shift? Some people look so good with their hair like slicked back and then they do like the like the PC you know like the, like the chunks of like thin bangs. I don't think this is this is not my kind of Yeah, I don't I actually think I hate it. I, oh. No, no, no. Um I'm wearing a little skirt moment because I am going out for a fancy little dinner with my parents later to celebrate my moving. It's like a one last hurrah kind of situation and I don't think I'm gonna wear this shirt. This is my casual shirt that I'm that I'm wearing now to do work in and then I'm gonna put on a different shirt. But the hair so I am going to go work now, and uh, then I'm going to have my fancy dinner and I will not be filming there because I'll feel like a degenerate. Okay, you know I think I solved my issue. So first off, I did put on a, a different, it's like a little collared, can you even see it? A little collared shirt moment with the same skirt situation but here's the thing that i think i i really need to do to stop feeling like um jim carrey i think i need to push that all back i think this is this needs to be a no bangs day which i have not gone full forehead in like four years but i think that's what we need to do to make this Shake. Right? Sorry I didn't film at all for the rest of the day. Actually, I'm not sorry, because I, I didn't film because I didn't want to. I didn't want to film... But we're gonna pick it back up tomorrow, and maybe the next day, and maybe the next day. I don't know. Yet. Um, I... I I would, do you like how I look like a, a scummy, yucky guy right now? Because I still have my hair pushed back. Also, the lighting is kind of scary. Anyways, I am going to keep filming the rest of the week. Uh, so I'll catch up with you tomorrow. And I am going to take the camera off of the tripod and face it away because I have an irrational fear of keeping the camera set up on the tripod facing down at me while I'm sleeping and then even if I turn the camera off and stop recording and everything I have this irrational fear that I will wake up the next morning check my camera footage and there will be just like hours recorded of me sleeping 
and like other scary things happening in the video. I Do you know what I'm talking about? Does anybody else have that fear? So, anywho, I'll see you tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to the gym immediately, and then I'm going to work for most of the day on the graphic novel. I say the graphic novel, like you know what I'm talking about, but I'm working on book two of the series that I was working on last year. It's called Art and High. And eventually I'm going to talk about it more on this channel. But now I'm on book two, so I'm in my second year of working on this. I'm like a quarter of the way through it, through the whole book, working on it. Eventually I'm going to make a whole video that's just all about that, and all about working on something for so long. I just released a podcast on Patreon, the thing I was recording yesterday. It's all about working on long-term projects and what that has felt like and the pros and cons. Because it's been almost two, it will be two and a half years of working on that when I finish it. Two graphic novels. Both are 160 pages. The first one comes out in October, by the way. And it's going to be really good and fun and gay, even if I do say so myself. So, yeah, besides working out and working, I think that's all I have planned for today. I should probably do some more packing at night, maybe? Yeah. Okay. You know, I really wish I had, um, like, natural lighting in my bathroom, because this... I wanted to catch up now that I'm naked, um, about sort of, like, what I have been... What, hold on, I, I need to dry my hair, it's just dripping down my back, and I need to be completely naked, so hold on. Isn't this bad for your hair or something to be drying it with a with a normal towel rather than like a microfiber cloth or silk or I wanted to talk about what I've been watching lately because I feel like people ask me what I've been watching and then I forget everything I've seen in the last six months. I just watched all of What We Do in the Shadows. I know the new season is coming out, but I had never watched it previously. And so now I'm all caught up. Loving that. Big Laszlo fan. I will not elaborate, but it's really unhealthy. Uh, I've also been watching Prehistoric Planet. I was a dinosaur kid, and I've always said that. Really incredible show. Like, I could probably talk about that one for hours. So if anybody wants to talk about dinosaurs with me, the comment section is open. This lighting is not doing us any favors, is it? Um, oh, I've forgotten everything else I wrote down. It's on my phone. Should I go get it? I'll go get it. Okay. Oh, the rehearsal. I've been watching the rehearsal with Nathan Fielder. Very invested in the baby storyline. I rewatched Mob Psycho, and I actually, I watched the dub which I had not done previously, and I was surprisingly fond of the dub, which I'm usually not. Um, I've been watching The Bachelorettes. Nothing wrong with watching The Bachelor or Bachelorette, I just was not... I was raised being told that was like garbage TV, so now I'm reclaiming it as an adult, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And then the last thing I've been watching is Change Days, which is the um, Korean dating show on Netflix. It comes out every Thursday and I'm telling you, I look forward to Thursday more than any other day because I'm so invested in change days. And I think it's almost over. I think there's like two more episodes left. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with my Thursdays after that. I've also been listening to a lot of podcasts lately. That's not new, but I feel like I've widened my, what am I, am I trying to do my makeup in the lens of the camera? I think I should note that 
I am in my era where I wear the same variation of like three outfits on repeat every single day. And it looks a little something like this. It's just like different versions of this one outfit. Sometimes it's with a pair of green shorts and sometimes it's a, with a pair of black shorts or denim shorts. But it's usually a white t-shirt or a white tank top. And then yesterday was the anomaly. I will say that. Cause I got all fancy, you know, but this is the normal day to day uniform. So I'm putting my shoes on, on the carpet, which is not the norm, but let me explain, right? So I got these shoes recently. I debated getting them for like four months. I really like how they look. I really like the shoe themselves, but they are impossible to put on my foot. And I, I think it's just because I haven't broken them in properly yet, but I, I have to do it on the carpet because I can't do it on my wood floor because I feel like I make too much noise because I'm like banging around and stuff. But let me show you. So I have to kind of unlace them quite a bit. And this is the point when like I start sweating, like when I'm, when I'm shoving my stupid little heel in there. Okay, listen, that was easy because I loosened it up beforehand before I started filming. But normally I'm like so irrationally angry when I'm putting them on. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Like just trying to put these on my feet. And I really hope that with time as I break them in, they're not gonna be like that, but oh my God, guys. But they're great shoes, love these shoes. I can't see past my jeans. Hi, from the car. We are on the road home. I worked at Starbucks for a couple hours. And once I got to a stopping point, I got a little, a little hungry. I went to Whole Foods and I ate at the Whole Foods. Well, first I went to Target. I went to Target and I got very not exciting things. I'll show you what I got when I get home. Jeez, sorry, my shirt was just like blinding you. I'll show you what I got when I get home, but it's nothing exciting. It's like paper towels and toilet cleaner. And so, uh, yeah, then I went to Whole Foods to eat and the vibes there were pretty bad. Pretty bad in the Whole Foods, I gotta say. Like, it felt like a hostile environment. You know what? No, it probably didn't even feel like a hostile environment. I think I was making that up in my head because when I sit there and I eat out of the little, the little container that I've filled with my little Whole Foods food, like a farm animal, people I feel like are looking at me and I know that they're not. Like what, why would it, everyone's minding their own business. Nobody's looking at me eating, but I feel like they are. I feel like everyone is looking at me, staring at me, putting the food in my mouth and chewing with my tiny little mouth. So maybe I'm just projecting. Um, last week at Whole Foods, a man with a big backpack on who was very, very suntanned did give me a cookie. Like he just walked up to my table and he said something kind of incomprehensible. I'm really not sure what he said. He smiled at me and then he put a cookie on my table that he had gotten from the Whole Foods Bakery. Um, I did not eat the cookie because... Uh, and so yeah, now we're going home and I do need to keep working and I will keep working probably until it's 1.30 now. I'll probably keep working until like four. My goal has been to get three pages a day sketched from the script and I am not doing great on that. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna try to meet that goal today because I think I can. I swear I just saw the man that gave me the Whole Foods cookie on the side of the road and we're nowhere near the Whole Foods. So if it was him, he's really, 
he sure does travel far on foot. I'll see you at home. Maybe we can drink one of my fun little sparkling drinks that I got from Target. That was my one fun purchase, was I did get a fun little beverage. Even though those beverages make my esophagus very um, upset, because my, uh, I, I just said I was gonna go away, and now I'm talking to you about my esophagus. Well, esophagus check, I, I have a thing where I can't burp. I like physically have never been able to burp, which causes some issues when I have anything with carbonation or anything that gives normal people with normal esophagi indigestion. So it gives me like super mega indigestion and then it doesn't, it can't come out. So I just, I stay uncomfortable. Anyways, see you at home. All right, so what do we got here? Ugh. Ugh. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna fart. So speaking of gas and farting and indigestion, this is the sparkling water that I got for the bubbles that will get stuck in my esophagus. It sounds very pleasing, like yuzu. Anything with yuzu in it, I'm like, ooh. I know it's just gonna taste kind of like lemon, but it feels elevated, right? I I had a single kiwi left. Anybody else on a kiwi kick? So the rest of the Target shebang, get ready, cause it's pretty crazy. Uh, really bad paper towels. I couldn't find like a small pack of Bounty, which is the good paper towels at Target. Not sponsored. Got some Pine Sol. We got some, I guess this is kind of interesting like con clear containers for bathroom organization. Once I move, I wanna have more things in containers that are not just kinda like strewn about. Strewn about! I don't know where that came from, sorry. A bottle cleaner, a little bottle brush. The handle's kinda sticky, and in fact, I, I don't think you can see, but it's got like, yucky target grime from like sticky kids touching it and then finally some mouthwash for kissing kissing i feel really stressed right now yeah i'm i'm stressed i don't think that there's anything like, it's it's not crazy, it's not as bad as it has been in the past when I felt like I was overwhelmed with work and everything. I think it's a combination of work and moving and feeling behind on everything and always feeling like there's something that I'm forgetting even though I write everything down. It's something about, I think, filming even though I really want to. Like, that's what, that's what makes me happy. I really like making YouTube videos and I wish I could make them more frequently, but there's just this voice inside my head that's like, you shouldn't be spending time doing that, you should be spending time doing all of your other responsibilities. So maybe instead of long vlogs that cover many days at a time and that are super crazy, I should just kind of keep them shorter, you know? I don't know if that would help, like just 10 minute, vlogs at a time and do it more frequently or maybe that's not good I don't know I don't know I don't know if you don't already know what I do or how I do it I am a freelance illustrator and I have had a contract now for two years to work on two graphic novels like I mentioned this morning and I'm on the second book and I'm a quarter of the way through it, and I'm working through that and probably will be done sometime in winter, which is like a long time from now. So it's hard not to get in my own head about, I need to be working on that at all times, basically. When I get behind on that, I just feel like I, I should not be focusing on anything else in my life except for that. But I also have another book that I am working on. That's It's a smaller project, but 
it's another book, another illustrated book. And then of course there's things like moving and life and trying to enjoy my last few, now month, one month, uh, living here and with the people that are currently in my life that live here. So between all of that and then balancing, you know, like social media, Patreon, I don't want to complain. I definitely don't want you to think that I am not having a good time because I am, but I am struggling. I think right now with moving just inevitably, I feel like there's always something to be done. And when I'm not doing something constantly, it can get tough. Like, I get in my own head about it a lot. You know, and then I'm also tattooing, and that's a whole thing. But I'm thinking I'm gonna do more frequent, smaller vlogs like this, even if I don't do anything in the vlog, or I don't feel like I did anything at least. But hopefully it just keeps you company. I know that's why I watch vlogs. I did just finish illustrating a page and so I thought what if we it's really cute I like the design on it and it's so chromey and silvery so yeah I figured why not have some gas in the middle of the afternoon Wait. This is better. This is the best. This is better than any LaCroix I've ever had. It's that yuzu flavor. I already feel like I'm gonna fart. So this is, I think, maybe the true end. The true end of the vlog. Guys, why aren't we all drinking this all the time? It's really good. It's just so carbonated. And I already feel kind of bad. Okay, bye.